So we're going to jump ahead just a little bit here into a topic that we'll get to probably next week, but I am excited about this because it dovetails on the discussion of map multi that we just had. So we're going to talk about how to overcome limitations with flat map in parallel streams. A little bit of this is review, but other stuff is brand new, and it's the segue into the case study example we're going to look at here in a second. So we talked about before, there's problems with flat map. It makes things sequential. And that basically makes it useless for parallel streams, which is really annoying, but whatever. So here's a simple example. We have this outer stream that's trying to emit a stream of integer objects from 1 to outer count, whatever outer count is. Let's say it's 1 to 10, or 1 to 1,000, or 1 to 10,000. And then what we want to do is we want to say, for each of these things, then we want to use flat map to go and compute some stuff to see how it's going to work. And we would like that to run in parallel. But as it turns out, if we run this code, as we will show you in a second when I do the case study, it actually does not run in parallel. It runs sequentially. And I'll show you how I figured out that it runs in sequential order. It's actually really cool and really clever and will give us a chance to talk about some interesting Java techniques that we can use. So even though we said parallel, flat map overrules us and runs everything sequentially. So there's a, I should put a big frowny face here because this is not good. And this is the code that we're going to look at in a second. We'll demonstrate this. So how do we overcome these limitations? There are at least two ways to do it that are reasonably clean. One way is to use reduce together with stream concat. And I really probably should have said map followed by reduce with stream concat. And this is one way to do this. And we'll look at this in more detail in the context of the case study, but I want to give you the big picture view first. So once again, we have an outer stream that emits objects from one to outer count. And then instead of using flat map, we're going to use map. And map does not have the weird glitch that you have with flat map. It will indeed run in parallel. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to end up having this inner stream running in parallel. There's just one problem, however. Map, unlike flat map, will end up creating a stream of streams. And we don't really want a stream of streams. We want a stream, it would be a stream of streams of, of integers. We really want a stream of streams of, of uh, we just want a stream of integers. So what we do to get around this is we put the reduce operation after map, and then we give it the stream concat method reference. And reduce followed by stream concat will flatten the stream of streams of integer objects into a stream of integer objects. And just because of the way that things work with reduce in this context, it returns an optional. And therefore, we have to do this little thing here. That's just for syntactic purposes. <clears throat> and uh, that handles the case if the stream happened to be empty. It won't be empty, but it has to handle that case if it were empty. So we have to put this here syntactically. And then the final thing we do is we re return this any match any match is a terminal operation that will return true if anything matches the predicate, which I've omitted. And you'll see when we look at the case study that this is checking to see whether everything here ran sequentially or whether something's ran in parallel. So this will actually work. This particular approach will indeed run in parallel, which is cool. <clears throat> There's yet another way to do this, which uses our good new friend, map multi. Once again, we have the same outer stream as we saw before with running range closed in parallel. So we have a bunch of things that are running in parallel. And now we use map multi. And map multi, as you can see, has a little bit more syntax going on. So I've omitted a lot of this stuff in this slide just because it wouldn't fit on the slide. But we will cover it when we walk through the case study in more detail. And you'll see what it's going to do is it's going to run some stuff in parallel in this inner stream. And in fact, we actually use, whoops, that should be map multi, not multi map. Uh, and that goes ahead and calls map multi internally. And then we accept the result. And I'll show you how that works. And indeed, when this code runs, as you'll see when we look at the case study in more detail, it also runs in parallel. So now we have two different ways of getting the same kind of behavior that we wanted to get with flat map, namely to be able to flatten what would otherwise be nested streams. But unlike the flat map, which has these deficiencies and limitations, these approaches are cleaner because they will use parallelism consistently. And we are now going to walk through 
the case study, which is in my EX35 project in the Java 8 folder in the Live Lessons GitHub repository. And this has been updated over the weekend, and it's very cool, and you'll see how it works here in just a second.